in Gebekli Tepe in Enclosure D. Something was published in the mid 2000s and it was by Pablo de Botolis of Trieste University. Um, and he basically did some acoustic research inside enclosure D, which has this very interesting geometry. It's kind of elliptical, but it's also got this very special geometry we looked at. And he also did, while he was there, and this is when Klaus Schmidt was the head archaeologist, they found within it a spiraling magnetic anomaly coming up out the ground in between the two central T-pillars. He went around all the different angles and got the same thing from all the different angles to prove his point. Wow. And so they were building on top of a magnetic anomaly, which can af we know can affect consciousness. You know, we know. So it may. So the reason they chose the little odd, it's really kind of bizarre location when you look at it's like middle of nowhere up on these kind of hills and these stony hills. It makes you question what they they must have recognised some kind of special quality about it hmm. to choose that site. But also, that you get a much higher yield, higher quality crop, frost resistant, and things like this. So many of these sites, these ancient sites, even the pyramids what they were doing they were creating like as you mentioned this fertilizing kind of energy to enhance their agriculture right and if you go back to gobekli tepe right so this was 9600 bc they were doing that here so i postulate hypothesize speculate whatever you want to call it did they have some kind of understanding that of how to enhance their seeds and grains at gobekli tepe to then go and do this effectively